What is this? Oh my goodness! Oh, sorry, buddy. What happened to you? I'm hoping that nothing bad happened in this lake. I have, I think, an idea of how we can catch these feisty little trout. Oh, the bobber's down, bobber's down. Oh! Oh, monster! Monster trout! <laughs> there he goes! Gus Gus have a wonderful life out here in the mountains. Oh, the guy's in paradise now. All right, you guys ready for your bath? All right. Oh, oh! <laughs> they missed their ducks. They missed the ducks so badly, but look at them, they're having the time of their life here. Oh my goodness. That's our routine, every day. <laughs> All right, let's get down to the shop though and get ready for fishing. I'm so proud of that <laughs> that kayak dolly that I built. Uh, that thing it makes it so easy to slide the kayak out from the truck onto the dolly. I can wheel it around, put it in the shop wherever I want, out of the way, and then when we need it, boom! You guys saw how easy it is to load up. So ah, that's right, we're going kayak fishing. That's the secret weapon. That's the only way. We got to get out there into the deeper water where the trout are. And plus, we haven't been kayak fishing in forever. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. We're at the lake. We're gonna catch one today. I know it, I've got a good feeling. <laughs> Can't forget our worms. Man, you guys, I am so excited to be out kayak fishing again. It's been way too long since we've done that. There we go. Okay, where do we want to explore? All right, the very first thing we're gonna to want to do uh, is just cast out the bullet lure so that we can trail it behind us. It's called trolling. That way, while we're on the move, maybe we'll get a bite. So let's just go ahead and cast that guy way out there. And then we gotta immediately start moving so it doesn't sink all the way to the bottom and get stuck in something. All right, and we're fishing, baby. <laughs> awesome. Fish on, baby! Fish on! Right away! Right away! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! On the bullet lure! On the bullet lure! <laughs> oh man, this feels so good! I get, oh, he's a good fighter too! Good fighter! Oh, you jumper! Jumper, 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 jumper! Oh, here we go, here we go! Oh, he was so silvery! Did you guys see that? Did you see how silvery that fish was? My goodness! Oh! 
Oh, he's staying down now. He's staying low. He's staying low. Oh, it's a beautiful trout. Beautiful trout. Get over here. Good. Oh, he's beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Come here. Come here. He's so silvery. Oh, what is this? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. He's under the boat. Under the boat. Under the boat. Come here. Oh, he's not ready yet. He's not ready. We can't can't get into the net before he's a little bit tired out. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, man. He looks like he's barely hooked, too. Barely hooked. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Man, he's spinning us around. He's spinning us around. He does not want to come in. Oh, that is a strong trout, guys. Come here. Come here. No! Oh, we missed him again. I cannot believe this. Are we even recording? Yes, we are. Yes, the net, baby. Let's go. Oh, he's a fatty. That's a big trout. That's a bow. Oh, he spit the bowl over. He was barely hooked. Look how he's got a belly. Look at the belly on this thing. Oh my goodness. It's a chubby, happy little trout. Oh, on the bullet lure, baby, let's go. Let's go first cast. Trolled within less than a minute, man, we had this guy. Beautiful. Oh, it's a, he's a football. That's a football trout, guys. Oh, come on, baby. Come here, oh, no, no, jump out. Oh, he's out of the net, out of the net. Oh, that's a big trout. Big trout, get back in here. Come on, in the net, there we go. Okay, just made sure, first thing we just put him right out of his misery, that we also doesn't get away from us. Look at that football of a trout. That's a happy looking trout. He's been living really good in this lake. Oh, man, guys, I can't even tell you how exciting it is to finally catch this fish. Uh, and I want to tell you guys something really important because I know a lot of you uh, might still be brand new to fishing or, or might just be struggling a little bit. And guys, I have been struggling heavily lately. This I've been out fishing. This is the fifth day of fishing across four different bodies of water and this is the first fish that I've caught that entire time. Guys, last week I filmed an entire episode, never caught anything, so I scratched the whole thing and had to start over again. So all I wanna say is don't get discouraged. If you guys uh, are still new to fishing or still figuring it out, maybe fishing a new place and you haven't gotten any bites yet, just keep going and remember, it's about just simply being out here and enjoying this. And then monsters like this are just a bonus. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to eat them. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch another one. I brought the fly pole along too. We could fish with a bobber and some worms. I just saw another one surface right there. Let's go ahead and try and get him. Man, bullet lure strikes again. Uh, guys, a lot of you been asking when we'll have more bullet lures. I haven't made any uh, in a long time. I only have like three right now, but I promise I'll make more for you guys. We'll do another NWFS care package. Uh, I've got some really cool stuff coming for you guys this summer. All right, cast way behind us. All right, let's start moving. Oh man, there's trout just surfacing everywhere. This is insane, what? Oh, it's raining on me too, it's raining a little bit. That's all right. That's how the mountains are sometimes. The weather can go from sunny to rainy in a second. I think we're just gonna try a few casts. Ooh, follow, follow. There was one that came right at it and snapped at it right in front of us. Wow, that fish was fast. Trout are apex predators, guys. They are so fast. You do not need to be uh, shy with your retrieve on those guys, especially these mountain trout are full of energy. Let's just see if we can maybe jig one right here. Come here, baby. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Wow, that was crazy. Oh, that was a bite. Good bite. Good bite. Oh, there he is, there he is, fish on me. Came back, oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Good one. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. oh, that's another beautiful trout, guys. Beautiful trout. That's, oh, that's a big one. Took it right there. I think the same trout came back and slammed it. Hit it twice. <laughs> Come here, baby. Come here. Not as much energy as the first one. That's all right. That's all right. Come here. Oh, never mind. Never mind. 
Come here, come here, in the net, baby. <laughs> oh, out of the net, out of the net. Oh, oh, that's another big one. Another beauty, look at that fish. Absolute beauty. Choke the bullet lure, look at that. There we go. My goodness, clean this little guy off. That is another beautiful trout. Look at that. They are just thick up here, thick and plentiful. All right, you all know what time it is. It's time for the bobber. I cannot resist. I think we might try and even fly fish, but uh, right now I just want to see if we can get a juicy bobber down. Oh, there's one that just surfaced right next to us. Right next to us. Come on. We got to be quicker here. We got to be quicker. Now remember when you guys are putting your split shot onto your leader for a bobber rig, try and space it out a little bit. A lot of people kind of clump it up uh, into the middle, but if they are all clumped together, then your line will kind of cast like a V and it'll often get tangled. If you space them out a little bit, the, the line will cast more evenly and won't get tangled as much. Whenever you guys see the trout surfacing, uh, that's a great time to bobber fish because they're actively feeding up at the surface. Are right, we just kind of slid the worm all the way up the hook? He's dangling on there like that. Looks pretty juicy, huh? All right, guys, the trout are hot. When you're bobber fishing for trout, always let the bobber go down a little bit and let the trout swim off with it because he's gobbling it up down there. So we're gonna try and work our way over there towards that mountain. There's a little island that I wanna check out. So while we head over there, we're just gonna keep our eyes out for trout surfacing and then we'll cast right on top of them. Oh my goodness, like right over there. Right there, baby. There was one that surfaced maybe five feet away from right there. So hopefully he didn't swim the other way, maybe you saw it. Oh, they're hitting it. They're hitting it. Watch the bobber. Watch the bobber. It'll come back. Come on. Oh, there is. There is. Bobber down. Bobber down. Bobber down. Let him eat it. Munch, munch, munch. And go fish on me. <laughs> Oh, he's off. He's off. <laughs> that was a little guy. That was a little trout. <laughs> oh, he messed up the worm a little bit. That's all right. We'll keep fishing it. <laughs> all right. The pole is ready to cast again. Oh, there he is. There he is. We got to be able to cast on top of those fish right away when we see them. That way they're still in that same spot. Come on, baby. I think we missed that one. Oh no, no, there he is! <laughs> I didn't even notice it. Didn't notice it. he took it right as we were right as we were retrieving. Oh what a mess. <laughs> right there. Right there. And we're just gonna let that bobber just relax there. Now while that bobber's fishing, I'm thinking we could also just fly fish a little bit. There you go. You guys keep your eye on the bobber and uh, I'll try and get us one on the fly. Ooh, there we go. We're really just going to let that fly sink a bit. Oh, bobber down, bobber down, bobber down, bobber down, bobber down. Let him munch it, munch it, munch it, munch it. Oh, we missed him. We missed him. Didn't let him munch it long enough. Maybe the tail was too long on that worm, too. Whew, that was a juicy bobber down. Oh, he chewed that worm up. Chewed that worm up. Let's go ahead and get that right back out to him. Right back out to him. I wouldn't mind getting one on the fly, either. Where do you think we'll get one first? Fly or bobber? So far the bobber's gone down a bunch, but we're not, we're not hooking them. On the fly, I'm pretty confident that if we get a bite, we'll hook them. There's one that swirled right there in front of us. We're just letting that fly sink, slowly sinking. That's what drives these trout crazy. Oh, that's a bite. There it is. Oh, oh, double bite, double bite. Man, half the time I have no idea what I'm doing when I'm fly fishing, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, there was one. 
right behind us here. Right behind us. <laughs> oh, there we go, fish on, baby. On the fly, on the fly. Let's go, let's go, on the fly. I cannot believe that. Saw him surface <laughs> and then just cast right on top of him. Unreal. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Oh, he's a little guy. Little guy. Little guy. Oh. No, it's a brown trout, baby. Brown trout. Let's go. Come here. Come here. Oh, yes. Yes. Brown trout on the fly. What we're just going to do, since he's barely hooked, is we'll get him right back in the water. Come on, buddy. Come on. Don't even need to touch him. Let's come right off the hook like that. There he is. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, I can't believe it, man. I don't think I've ever gotten a brown trout on the fly. <laughs> that was awesome. He was just surfaced right there. And I just cast right on top of him. <sighs> Couldn't resist. That little guy came right back. Here's the fly that we just used. Uh, I believe these things are called thin mints. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it's just like a little leech pattern fly that slowly sinks in the water and that's what the trout can't resist oh the bobber's down bobber's down it's a total mess they're hitting the bobber right now as we speak i gotta get this uh fly pole all cleaned up oh man we're tangled up every single thing in the kayak <laughs> oh the bobber's down completely there we go fish on baby fish on i'm trying to untangle the fly pole <laughs> But oh oh jumper jumper baby that's a bobber down let's go let's go <laughs> that's a fighter that's a fighter oh man okay we got the fly in the water here hopefully we don't double up <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness what oh, a beautiful trout oh oh monster monster trout oh monster <sighs> come here baby Come here. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, he's onto the boat. All right, everyone, nice and easy. Let's all stay calm. We can do this. Oh, come here. All right. Get over here. Come onto the net. Come onto the net. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Oh, it's a big rainbow. Big rainbow. We missed him. We missed him. <laughs> all right. Second try. Oh, he's in the net, baby! He's in the net! Look at that! There's a giant rainbow! Giant rainbow on the bobber! Oh my goodness! Look at the belly on that trout! Oh, 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 oh! Alright, put this guy right to sleep, but look at this beautiful trout! Look at the big old, big old belly on that guy! Thank you so much, baby! Oh, we got three fish! Brown trout on the fly! Big juicy rainbow on the bobber. The bullet lure is on fire. They're just, the fish are, ah, I don't know what to say. Let's go ahead and troll back there to the island. I want to see if we can catch one there. Maybe pick one up on the way. And then let's go ahead and cook one up. I'm getting really hungry. Guys, I was just going to go over to the island, but they're feeding like here at the surface like crazy. So many trout here right now. We're just going to sneak in there and get that fly right on top of them. On this kayak, we can even, uh, stand up and use it like a stand-up paddle board. There are so many trout here right now. Whew, dude, they're surfacing everywhere. Ooh, there was one right there next to us. Just out a little further. Oh, oh there we go. We got right on top of them. They're surfacing. They're everywhere. Come on. Oh, that's a bite. There he is, fish on! Fish on! Oh, nice one, too. <laughs> on the fly, baby. On the fly. Oh, yes! <laughs> come here, come here. Oh, that's a nice trout. That is a nice trout. Oh, man, that was... Guys, we got another fighter here. That's a, I think that's a rainbow. Is it a rainbow? I'm not exactly sure. Gotta clean up all that slack that we got here. Man, that fish has energy. <laughs> oh, wrap my finger. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
he doesn't want to come in. Just does not want to come in. Come on, baby. Oh, yes! Still got him. Look at that. Another beautiful, beautiful rainbow. We're just gonna, we're gonna be really quick, just gonna let this one go. We don't need any more fish, guys. We got plenty, plenty to eat. Just pop that hook right off. It's beautiful. Gotta say, guys, the, uh, the fly, she's growing on me. That was awesome. Oh, did you guys see that? There was one that jumped right in front of us. Come on, baby. Slowly letting that fly sink. It's just sinking slowly. That's what they love. Oh, there's a bite. There he is. There you go, fish on, baby. Fish on. Oh, nice trout. Nice trout. <laughs> Come here. Oh, it's a brown. It's a brown. My goodness, look at this little guy. Look at that fish right there. We're not even gonna net him. Not even gonna net that fish. Oh, look at the geese. Wow. Oh, what is this? Guys, we found a treasure. Right, we're over by the island. Get over here. <laughs> it's a... Uh, the spool of a, of a fishing reel. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, it's stuck with its fishing line. Let's see what this is. Olympic fishing and tackle. I've never even heard of that. All those geese might be breeding up here and the last thing I'd want is for them to get stuck in that fishing line. So we'll just go ahead and pack that baby out. And try and get up on this island. <laughs> nice. Man, look at this place. It's absolutely beautiful. Man, I was gonna cook up the fish right here on the island, but I'm seeing a lot of geese on the island. Uh, they're all kind of hanging out here. It is mating season for a lot of the, the birds in the area right now. And uh, so I wanna just make sure that we don't bother them in case they are breeding uh, here. So let's just go ahead and hop over to shore there. Kick off here. There we go. All right, geese, the island is all yours again. Don't worry, we will not intrude on your guys' home. Man, how's this place here? This is beautiful. All right, now we're just gonna clean up one of these fish and we're gonna do it with the mini cleaver. <laughs> I found it again, man, I lost this thing a while back, so mini cleaver time. All we gotta do is just start cutting them right back there by the butthole. Man, look how sharp the mini cleaver is. One cut and that's all it took. <laughs> uh, just go all the way up here and then what I just like to do is come in uh, right here under the fish's tongue, like that. That thing is razor sharp right now. And then all you do is grab the fish right there by the tongue. Oh, oh I got it in my eye. <laughs> fish juice. Uh, oh, well. There we go. All the guts come right on out. And what we can probably just do is leave it right here uh, by the rocks. That way, uh, eh, either something can come down from the woods and eat it tonight, or the crawdads. I'm sure there's a lot of crawdads right here that would love to eat it. Man, look at the color of that meat. Oh, it's red like a salmon. That looks delicious. The only thing we got left back in there is that uh, dark line and that's just the fish's kidney. And uh, we're just gonna score that. And then you can just take your finger. Look at that, it just comes right out. Nice and easy. And there we go, a perfectly clean trout, ready to cook up. Uh, we're not gonna even be able to eat this whole fish right now, that's a big fish. So I'm just gonna fillet off uh, a small portion that we can cook up right out here. We're just gonna take off a fillet off of this guy here, huh? We got Cleaver the head. <laughs> there you go. We'll just give this guy to the crawdads as well. 
And once the head's off, that makes it a lot easier to start your first uh, filleting cut right there. Whew, like butter. And that is a beautiful, beautiful boneless fillet. We've just got the pin bones in there, but on a trout, I don't mind those at all. I just eat them. Look at that beautiful fillet. Wow. All right, I think we're just gonna cook them up right here, but there's a bit of a breeze going on and I don't wanna uh, to blow out the flames. So I think we're gonna have to build just a little bit of a shelter for our cooker here. Yo, something like that. Oh, that feels really good. It's pretty cold out, guys. Not gonna lie, even with the sun, it's still early in the year, so. <laughs> there we go, a little bit of butter that we'll throw straight into the pan. We're gonna have to cut that salmon, uh, salmon trout <laughs> in half. <laughs> oh man, the color fooled me. There we go. Just gonna go skin side down on the uh, thick piece first. Oh, you know what, one thing I forgot to do that'll help with the curling of a fresh fish like that is you can score the skin. Just give it some little scores and that'll help it not curl up as much. Plus it'll give the butter a nice space to soak in too. Guys. This is the moment that I know you've all been looking forward to. We're gonna sprinkle on a little bit of some Danish sea salt. Oh, oh, it already smells so good. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh man, ain't gotta be shy with this stuff. There we go, that's the only seasoning we're gonna throw on there. So much flavor in this sea salt. Let's give these guys a flip and see, oh man, see if they're done. On that uh, skin side, we want a nice brown skin. Oh, it came off of the skin, no. We got a full pan, guys. This is, <laughs> it's a disaster in here. Total disaster. Oh, man, the skin is golden brown. A nice, rich, dark golden color. Just finish him off on the meat side. Put the lid on there just to finish it off in there. That almost peeled perfectly. <laughs> what is this? Come on. Oh, look at that. I think. Oh, nice crisp on the other side there as well. I think that baby is done. Throw in our avocado. Oh, I've got one more thing for us. Oh, we still got a little bit of sauerkraut left too. There we go. We're gonna pull out a nice big scoop of kraut. Oh, man, now that's a meal, huh? Oh, raw fermented sauerkraut is so good for you. It's filled with probiotics. They're good for your gut. They're good for your health. So loading that on top of the meal, mm, look at that. We got our healthy fats from the avocado. We got healthy fats and protein from the fish. Oh, man. Mm. That's one of the best trout that I've ever had. <laughs> I mean, look. The color of that meat, it's, it looks like salmon. Here's a bite with the skin. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. That skin, oh man, here's just a big old crispy skin right there. <laughs> it's almost sweet. I'm getting like a tear in my eye. Maybe it's from the wind, but th th this might, that's a bold statement, but this might be the best trout I've ever had. Maybe I'm just really hungry. Yeah, the geese are just having a great time over there. Man, I'm just looking at the woods behind us. We got to go on a mushroom forage session soon too. Maybe catch a trout, 
get a couple of mushrooms, go out in the woods, camp somewhere, cook them up together. Let me know what you think. Should we do that? Make sure, of course, you're subscribed so you don't miss uh, that and all the other mountain adventures that we're going to do this summer. You guys, we got the kayak loaded up in the truck, but I couldn't resist and just take a quick little peek in the woods and see if we can't find some wild mushrooms. What I'm looking for is morels. Hmm. Ah, let's see. Look at these pine trees right there. This is perfect for mushrooms. And the bark is a little burnt, so there was a forest fire that came through here, but it's probably been a little too long since the forest fire. Right around here is where we could find the mushrooms. Oh, what's this? Ah, nah, it's just some poop. Nope, not a mushroom. Where are the mushrooms? Ah, here's some little mushrooms right there. Look at that. It's not the one we're looking for though. Ah, oh, man, I'm not seeing any mushrooms yet. But that's okay, we'll probably go out for mushrooms and fishing in the next couple episodes or something like that so of course make sure that you guys are subscribed if you aren't already that way you don't miss it leave a like on the video it helps a ton and drop a comment I'll see you guys in the comment section <sighs> that's all I got for you guys I love you and we'll see you all very soon for the next fishing adventure and until then you all know it fish on baby